Hello everyone, this is Chris. Welcome to my video tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how you can create a 3D text just like this. The one that you can see in front of you. Now, this is actually the final output of the 3D text that I've um, created last night. And this is actually for my Facebook um, page. So you can follow me at Crazy Game Place. And um, as you can see here, this is the 3D text, which is very nice and very, you know, good to look. So, you know, if I'm going to disable the background so you can see here, it's completely transparent. Look at that. It's completely transparent background. Okay. So I can actually do that. You can also see here some little logos on the top these are the recently games that i've been playing but mainly i'm playing um tekken 7. all right now let's go ahead and get started so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click this um history palette here i'm just going to duplicate this document here and this one over here the original one, i'm just going to close it without saving it now we're gonna start from scratch so I'm going to you know hold down my shift key and select the this one the the bottom layer layer 7 up to the top while holding down the shift key and then press delete on your keyboard so that everything will be wiped out and all we can see is just only the blank white color now as you may uh, notice that I did not you know click on file and create new because this is um, exactly the what the document size I wanted so you wanted to know the size well yes I can show you by holding down the control alt I to reveal the size so it's actually 27.7 inch by 13 and the resolution is 72 pixels per inches um, I can actually you know convert it into pixel if you want so it's 2000 by 976 pixel per inch so that's the size of the documents that I work now just to set your expectation that making a 3d text in Photoshop requires um, pretty decent you know speed computer or CPU so if you do have like um, a core i5 and above then you should be fine um you know for amd if you have ryzen or even athlon that has a four um you know core processors running you should be fine and some little you know assessed uh with your gpu if you have like a two gigs of gpu that should be fine but i recommend if you have four or much better if you have eight gigabyte of memory of your gpu that would be a lot better rendering time it really depends on the speed of your computer okay so that may vary mine has a 16 gigabyte of um, computer cpu ram i do have a 4 gigabyte of um, amd rx 570 so let's get started so I'm go i'll go ahead and click this text tool and then I'm just gonna type it c g P. all in uppercase you might be wondering why it's not showing because um, apparently the color of the text is um, white so I'm just gonna control a to highlight it and change it to color black so now I can see the text here so we can resize it by you know dragging this um, text here so we can just simply increase it now let's go ahead and change the um, type of the text by clicking this drop down arrow here on the top and let's look for um, the best example maybe we can use this this one Mons Serrat that's the name of the font now this font if I'm not mistaken if I can still recall this font um, I've downloaded it from the website okay you can look for that now after you've done that what we need to do is to get the background first because you know as you can see the reflection of the text will really going to depend on the background of the object so we'll go ahead and um, go to file and click open 
and let's look for the background this is the background that i've um, used now it's currently on a second tab so let's drag it out so that it will just be floating and then drag this move tool or you can just simply you know click your v on your keyboard and just click and drag it here now here is some few tips if you're going to release your mouse if you wanted to you know put the picture in the center of the documents you can hold down your shift key and then you can release the mouse and in that way let me just close it and in that way you can assure that this image that we've transferred from one document to another we will place in the very center of the document now let's go ahead and bring this on layer one down i'm just going to name it background all right now next step is select this cgp text here on this um um layers and then right click and then now choose the option that says new 3d extrusion from selected layer so if you click on that now there you have it you can now see that the text is currently on a 3d now that's not yet the final um output we still need to do some adjustment in terms of the reflections and the shadow and stuff like that but this is actually the default whenever you convert an object into a 3d the next step that you're going to do is to actually um make some little adjustment on the camera view so here is the camera view click this ca uh, current view and then click here on the view drop down arrow and then you can click this save now the main reason why i ask you to do the save because it will save the current placement of the object if you want to you know to have that 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 view only then save it so that you will no longer have any problem in the future if you wanted to go back with that type of viewing angle so i'm just gonna name it final click ok now you are good to go now here if you click this little orbit on the 3d camera if you click on that you can now you know rotate the viewing angle of every text if you can you know, if you want to okay now in my situation i just really want to adjust the extrusion because it's very thick actually now to do that i can simply click the cgp here and then this one over here i'm going to you know, zoom it here if you click this little yellow this is actually controls the strooge, the the thickness of the text that one so in my case i just love it that way and then let's try to see yeah this one okay that's perfectly nice now if you want to go back like i said if you want to go back to the last viewing angle like what we just did a while ago just click this you know camera current view icon click this drop down and click the final that we've created and now it will go back to the the first time that we've you know convert the text into 3d all right the next step is click on the cgp okay and now click this shape preset okay this drop down and select this one over here this i don't know what's the name of this but um this is the one that i've used to actually do um add some little um bevel or emboss on the te 3d text so if we click if we click on that double click it now you can see that there is already like um what do you call this the 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 lightning going on on the text in front of it okay now let's try to preview how it looks like 
So I can you, you can actually pre-render the text if you want to just to make sure that you are in the right track. Um, just a portion of the you know image. We're not gonna render all of the entire um, 3D text because it will take a lot of time. So by doing that, I just simply you know choose this rectangular marquee tool and just I just simply you know click and drag here at the bottom just to see how it looks like and click this little icon here to render the 3D. And now it will start rendering. As you can see, my cursor turns into um, our rotating dots and you can see here it's now showing the time of the render so you can see here it's now showing it's not really much of a different right now because you know it's we, we just you know started to make some adjustment but if I can now see the the, the shadow look at that of the text now we're gonna cancel it by pressing the skip key and look at that it looks okay with me I'm happy with that okay now next is we're going to add the reflection on the text okay now to do that all you need to do first is to actually select this CGP this one over here and hold down your shift key and select this one and change the color the base color into somewhat just right here and you know the the amount here is 12 by 30 30 30 uh, 31 31 31 and click OK As you can see here it's just you know you can now see some little um, lightnings going on in the text but that's still not what we wanted to achieve next is we have to you know move this um, this moving icon here the metallic into a hundred percent okay okay the next is to select this environment okay this is actually where you need to change or do some little changes for you to have a reflection from the background so as you can see here on the top this is actually the um, the the texture of being used for for this one over here so we can actually change that by simply you know clicking this and replace texture choose that one now we can simply choose this as our reflection Okay, now once we've replaced it, we can then click it again and edit texture. So that's what he, it looks like. Now, um, I need some little adjustment over here in this text by double clicking this layer so that it will unlock. And then hold down your control plus T and then hold your alt key to resize it i want it to be just like that click ok i mean check and then close it and then click yes click ok to save it now let's try to render and let's see what we can find So as you can see here, there are already like um, a lightning going on here on each side of the text. So we can now see the progress. So we'll cancel that, the rendering, by simply pressing down this escape key. So now we need to make some more adjustments. So to go back to the 3D, just double click this CGP. And now click this infinite lightning and now click this environment okay and click this move tool so that we can now move 
which is the thing that we want to focus on okay just like that let's see now let's select this and let's preview again Okay, it's getting in there. Let's cancel it by clicking the escape key. Now let's go ahead and click on the CGP front and hold on your shift key, clicking the back infinite um, inflation material. And now we need to change the roughness into zero. Okay. All right, next is again clicking the cgp front and until hold on your shift key cgp back that will need to change we need to adjust more of this color here maybe much brighter this time click okay next is we need to click on infinite infinite light Click this move so that we can control where the light is going and now let's try to render this so look at that it's basically working now all right now putting um, reflection to the text really vary depending on the placement of the texture like this for for example the environment so it's it's really up to you if for me if I need to you know change more the placement of the all the texture just maybe like this or or even maybe like this and now let's try to render you can't actually see it um, here because you know you have to actually render it again and again and again repeatedly so it's kind of okay now Okay, let's cancel that by um, pressing the escape key. Look at that, it's it's doing, it's pretty good now. Okay. So maybe we need to um, do some little change of the color here. Maybe more, more a little bit black, maybe. And let's try to render here on the top. Okay. Now let's click this CGP. And now we're going to, let's try to move this backward. Click this current view and then let's go to click on final. Let's try to render it again. Okay, so let's cancel that. Now, next step is we need to separate this three text. 
So by doing that, just click this CGB layers, go to 3D, and then choose the option that says split extrusion. Now once you've done that, you will see that the other two letters are, you know, um, going from nowhere, but we can fix that. Now let's go ahead and click this G here in the layers, click this move tool, and we can just click it here, drag it down, and then P is just right here. And then drag it down. All right. Let's click on the current view and then let's try to. Okay. Okay, now what we need to do is to actually make some um, rotation for each of the letters. Let's go back to current view. Click this G. And we can just, you know, simply do that. Let's go in P. And maybe something, or maybe something like that. And then the letter C. Just something like that. And just, we're just going to move it some little bit here. Okay. Let's go ahead and render them. Okay, so I think, um, okay, just for the sake of, you know, um, of this tutorial to be finished as, as fast as I can, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel it and I'm going to render it. So that's basically what you need to do in order for you to add texture on your 3D text. Now let's go ahead and render the entire text here by clicking this 3D and resume render. So it will render everything from the start. So now I'm going to post this um, video and I'm going to go back once this rendering is completed and I will show you what's the final output. Okay, everyone. So now the rendering is now done. It's not actually what I've um, shown you, but that's exactly how I you know do okay to have or to apply the textures on your 3d text now like i said it will really gonna vary of how the placement of how you put the textures on your uh, 3d text like what i you know did a while ago i just you know rotating everything and then i'm just you know when my in, in my original um 3d text that i've created i've made some numerous adjustment moving here moving there rotating there i made some lot of rotation just to achieve those type of you know perfect um uh shading and reflections and lightnings on that but that's this is just the basic of what i just do okay now let's put it this way that that, that that's already what i wanted to achieve now you can go back to layers. It was on 3D. Now go back to layers and then right click this um, this eye, uh, layer here. And now you can click on rasterize 3D. Rasterizing a 3D that will make this object into a normal flat, flat 
object anymore so it it it, it can no longer be you know um edited okay you cannot rotate it because if you do want to rotate it again make some another adjustment chances are you have to render it again and it will take you another time to do it so let's disable the background so this is now the 3d text which is fully transparent and now you can save it to your computer and so that's how you create a 3d text using photoshop 2020 hope you enjoy the video thank you for watching goodbye